So just finally, I know we're basically almost out of time, but can each of you just really briefly touch upon um, where you think the biggest opportunity for growth is in the next two years at each of your companies? What will you be focusing on? And what is your single biggest piece of advice to an entrepreneur going into e-commerce today? Just really briefly. Uh, so, I mean, in terms in terms of growth, um, uh, the biggest opportunity again is uh, is continuing to to focus on uh, the logistics infrastructure, uh, the the delivery infrastructure, uh, uh, and, and making making it seamless for the consumer to, uh, to to purchase online. I think this is where we all have to invest in, and I think this is where we are investing in. The market is so huge um, that uh, even Considering launching new markets or launching new verticals or launching anything uh, uh, it requires that you have the right foundation. Uh, and without this right foundation, it doesn't matter how many verticals you launch and how much traffic you get, you're not going to get any of it. So for us, the biggest opportunity is to continue doing what we're doing, to continue focusing on, on, uh, on uh, satisfying the customer, uh, reducing uh, the, 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 the uh, the delivery times, uh, getting a, a bigger discount for uh, for our consumers, and then and working uh, on our technology. This is what we're going to be focused on for the next uh, year or two. But at the same time, we are continuously studying uh, uh, new new opportunities. I mean, we have a strategy department uh, in Marca VIP with six people just uh, thinking about what Marca VIP is going to look like in 2013 and 2014. So we definitely have a lot of plans in, in the pipeline and you're going to hear uh, about some of them uh, uh, pretty soon. Uh, so for us the biggest opportunity is the opportunity that we have right now which is growing market VIP in the existing markets and satisfying uh, the customer. Uh, the biggest advice that I have uh, for an entrepreneur uh, is, is um, uh, basically to, again I mentioned this during last month at uh, Wanda conference, uh, is to choose the right investors uh, to make sure that uh, the, the investors that, that you're taking money from understand your language, have the same incentives that, uh, that, that, that you do and are there for the long term to support you and support your company and support your management team uh, and your staff. Uh, the second piece, piece of advice is, uh, is um, uh, taking care of your employees. Uh, if you, we pride ourselves uh, of, of having a very open, direct, honest environment where the employee uh, uh, is, is a very active member, uh, you know, in, in the decision-making process. Uh, it can, can voice their opinions to uh, the CEO or the CFO or to any C-level person uh, without, uh, you know, uh, without any ramifications. And, and gathering all, everyone, all the employees around your project rather than, than uh, around yourself. Uh, this is something we're very, very big on and no entrepreneur will succeed if he's not at the ground level uh, with with uh, with his employees and doesn't have the humbleness uh, uh, and the human human side, let's say, uh, uh, to to make sure that everyone is convinced of of, uh, of their dream. Yeah. Yes, Ahmed versus online, I think less than half percent or maybe close to maybe one percent or even less between that. That's the, what people buy online versus retail. So opportunity is immense in the region. Uh, but that only you can convert these buyers if you have the right service and you can earn their trust. Uh, in terms of an entrepreneur, I think uh, you have to build a good team. You have to see where you are strong and where you are not, and make sure your partners complement you well, uh, well understood, and have the people buy into that mission so it's a joint effort. It's going to be a long ride. It's going to be sometimes rough, so unless you have this team that uh, is, is really behind uh, the, the company and the brand, you you're going to have difficulties, so the, the, there should be an alignment on overall the objectives and what we're trying to do and make sure that the incentives are there for the team to work with you. And, and it's, it's going to be a, a, a 
long process for the company. So if people are thinking short term, I think in the region we notice the exit takes a bit longer and we keep it for the people that are running it and managing it. So that, that kind of a metaphor of how the team grows and, and, and the team and how you're able to attract talent. And there will be areas where you are not very good at making sure your, your, your team complements your skill set, be it in finance, be it in operations, be it in marketing, be it in commerce. Really, e-commerce e touches upon so many different verticals, including the customer service. Now we're talking about logistics, warehousing, operations. So the, 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 the actual paradigm that we spend is quite big, and no one person can do it all. So it's all about having a really a good team with you.